Blinde, Winde, zeig uns, ich sei dir. If you want to control what I say, it doesn't have to take all day. I will show you easy lip syncing. You can have your character singing. Blinde, Winde, Cycles excite you. Blinde, Winde, Cycles excite you. Blinde, Winde, Cycles excite you. Hi, I'm Velice Potential. I hope uh, the singing uh, didn't hurt anyone. <laughs> um, and yes, that was me singing in that video. What I'm going to show you is how to uh, do basic uh, lip syncing easily and quickly. It's not appropriate for every situation. It definitely doesn't produce realistic results. But uh, if, if you're not looking for realistic results, you just want to get the illusion that your character is speaking, then this would do it. It works uh, especially well for uh, cartoon type characters or characters where you're not going for a realistic look. Let's press X to uh, delete the cube. Press Shift A to add a monkey. Press R to rotate. X to rotate on the X axis at 90 degrees. Type in 90. Press Enter. One on the numpad to go in the front view. Press Control, Alt, Zero. Put the camera to that view. Um, let's get a little closer by pressing Shift F and the scroll wheel to go forward until you think it's close enough. Get a little closer. There you go. She's looking a little blocky. Let's make her smooth. And let's add a subsurf modifier. Subsurface. Subdivision surface is what it's called. Okay, you're looking good, Suzanne. Okay, let's go into object data, add a basis key, so I'm pressing the plus. Let's add another key. Let's call the second key. Mouth close. Press tab to go into edit mode. A to deselect everything. Mm, press B to box select. select these two okay, let's go ahead and select everything I'm sorry the whole mouth now let's scale it on a z-axis by pressing SZ and do it until the mouth is closed you don't have to type zero look like uh, it's uh, 0 0.2625 don't have to be exact of course it looks like it did the job so now okay I press tab to get back into object mode now when we uh, slide the slider the mouth closes looks like I could have closed the mouth a little bit more now I'm gonna go ahead and close it a little bit more scale Z sufficient okay now let's go ahead and add in our audio file I already 
have the audio file on my desktop. Uh, Blender s supports drag and drop, so I'm just going to drag and drop it there. I could try to drag it by pressing G and drag it over, but I find it faster to just go over here and for start frame type 1, in case you didn't know to do that. Go to default again. I tell you what, let's split this view by right clicking, split area. Drag this over some. Change this view to the graph editor. Make sure we're on frame one. Add a keyframe over the value by put. Make sure your mouse is over the value uh, section and then press I. Open this up. Select the mouth close value. Go down a key. And we want to go to big sound the F curve. I'm going to open our um, sound file again, which remember was on the desktop. It's got the same one that we dragged into the uh, sequence window. So let's go to our desktop and here it is. Now you can see it looks a little wavy. That's our sound file. If you play it now, you can see it's doing something. It's not enough, but let's just show you. It, it, it moves a little bit, but not enough. So let's let's fix that. We are going to let's press N add modifier and we're going to select envelope click on add point okay we just want to set it so that when the sound is quiet the value is at one and when the sound is loud it's uh, at zero now I'm not exactly uh, expert on this on the envelope modifier, but from experience, I already know um, what the values need to be. But you just uh, you play with this until you get it how you want it. In this particular case, we want the values to be minus. 0.711 and that's for the reference value for the minimum value we want 1.118 and for the maximum value we want 0 0.713 Now, if we try it, pressing Alt A, okay, we almost got it. Only thing is, I forgot to uh, set the length of our video to the length of the the audio so let's go back and find out what that was video editing it was 971 so down here type 971 let's go back to default I want it to be 100 percent I'm gonna save it to the desktop
and I'm gonna call it could call it blended render since that's the name I called the song but I'm just gonna call it Suzanne singing let's just call it Sue sing okay definitely don't want it to go as a PNG well you can do it as a PNG and then add the song in a composite I'm just gonna go ahead and do it as a video format just set it encoding to the format in the audio format of your choice and render it. Well now you know how to do uh, lip syncing. It only took a few minutes. If you were going to do everything by keyframe, depending on the complexity of your animation, it could take hours or, or days, depending on how many characters you have to do, etc. Okay, so I hope you like this uh, tutorial. Please rate, favorite, and subscribe.